check it out guys so today we're working on the three inch intake for the supercharger this is a three inch stainless steel i already had this piece lying around uh had that already made up it's pretty good now we're gonna make a couple uh pieces here this is straight pipe we cut it at an angle so now we've got an elbow basically um we're gonna fit up in a couple more pieces on it basically complete that piece there and then uh get this down and weld it up and so we can get on the uh, discharge side the pressure side all right guys check it out we've got it right there looking pretty good all fit up all the way down in there get you a little bit of more details here all these cuts a couple cuts there a couple cuts there we're gonna clamp it onto that elbow with a hose right there and uh, I got an aluminum elbow down there for right now for the intake after the mass airflow. I think you can see it uh, maybe right there. So far so good. Now we're gonna get working on the uh, pressure side that goes to the manifold and uh, get that fit up too. Get them all welded up. I got a uh, oil reservoir tank coming little aluminum one we're going to be putting in here to relocate the oil reservoir for the power steering so that maybe we can leave some room to leave the blow off valve here not sure yet where i'm gonna do it kind of still trying to figure that out so check it out guys this is it all fit up tacked up ready to weld I polished it up that way we just leave the uh, burn marks on there and it looks really good so let me show you how to do that. I'm going to do a little time lapse, throw in some welds, get it finished up. pretty good we're getting there wrapping around it's coming around and we're getting there <laughs> it up came out really good I really like it I think it's gonna look really good next to the supercharger I know most guys are running that plastic intake that it comes with we got this custom one-off intake here it's gonna look really good all right so now we got the three inch tube for the intake on the supercharger installed this is we're gonna feed the air from down here now we're gonna start working on making the uh, discharge side well, that's going to be under pressure so we're going to start with this right here basically we're going to turn it around once we cut it it's going to go from uh here down into the uh bottom of the uh intake there so it's going to take a bit of a turn and cur curve around i'm gonna show you how to do that piece right here all right so now we got our uh, tubes cut this is two and a half inch stainless steel 304 tubing i've given them a couple pie cuts kind of figured out what i needed this piece though right here took me a bit to make this is a two and a half inch tubing i had to use a reducer to build it up to two and three quarter so this is a two and three quarter holes barb a real custom piece it took a while to do a lot of work get it cleaned up get it welded up so once i get this all installed in there this should fit up up in the intake down there real nice and tight so the boost is held in there and it doesn't pop off once we put a clamp on there 
very important to have that if you don't have a groove on there the boost will blow the pipe off if it's just a smooth piece of pipe so now we got that there we're gonna pie cut all the pieces there tape them up get them welded up pretty soon our first step we're gonna take a little bit of tape we're gonna tape this up if you don't know how to weld you use some tape line it up take it to somebody who knows how to weld someone like me or a buddy of yours that knows how to weld so right now let me put this together i'm gonna put this uh tape on the end right there start putting the pieces together put it on the car and just start coming up with the plumbing and uh, go from there and once everything's taped up we'll get it welded all up. right so here we are i got this uh couple pieces uh lined up put a little bit of uh tape on there so that's going to drop right into the intake manifold right there so this should fit pretty snug up in there so you can see it fits right there once we got the clamp on there that's going to be real nice and tight i marked the uh, elbow so basically we're going to put an elbow right there once i get it lined up we'll uh, drop the plumbing from here after there. all these cuts a little bit of tape we finally got it done this has probably been one of the most difficult uh, pieces in the whole supercharger build not so much the pieces here but uh, this piece right here took a lot of time thinking about it more than working on it just trying to figure out how I was gonna build that a uh, little bevel from a uh, two and a half to three and three two and three quarters sorry from two inch all right guys so we got it all packed up here about to get it all welded up to get it all welded up show you guys a little bit of that and we'll go from there get it installed on the car check it out everybody so this is the charge pipe that goes from the supercharger to the intake manifold so this side's going to go right into our manifold right here put a clamp on that this side goes from the supercharger the pressure side and here's the line that's going to go down to our blow off so there it is custom as it gets I'm going to show you how it fits on here. This is basically going to drop right here. Get the boot in there. Get it to go in there. Once we got it all fit up nice, we'll get that tightened down. Down there we have the barb. So we got to get this hose up in here. Take a little bit of work, get it in there. Get that connected in there. Here's my blow off valve. So this is basically a HKS uh, knockoff, a China one. Looks just like it. Uh, did some reviews on it. I guess the HKS one is actually louder than this one. Um, not really worried about that being too loud. I think this is loud enough. We'll put this back in there. I kind of got an idea where I'm gonna place it. I think we're gonna put it down in here make a small little bracket to kind of hold it in place there so we're able to dump out to the front right here and then just get our hose connected there so we not we need to trim the hose just a bit and then um, hook up our intake side right here bring it down and drop it down here with our math and our intake uh, cleaner so that's pretty much where we're at right now that's uh, a lot of progress this piece right here has been a lot of work um, definitely worth the, the work the time put in a lot of work and it came out real great so basically we got to get that all hooked up now get the clamp here and the uh, hose on and um, finish up with the exhaust and we're ready to get this thing tuned and uh, started up on the uh, on boost a couple little things to finish up it's gonna be hooking up this to the uh, manifold a couple of vacuum lines I got to get uh, rerouted extended and uh, extending the math sensor this is gonna go a little bit farther down so we need to extend it a few inches a few more things and we're almost ready to roll